Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a big one, dude. That's a tank. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, as you can tell, I'm back out on the beautiful, beautiful Wald Lake. It's another pretty calm morning. Not as calm as the other morning. There's some ripples out here, but I'm still going to be throwing some top water. But I actually have a special video for you guys today because I'm going to be using this bat top water lure. So I've been known to do some like crazy top water lure challenges like these two videos right here. So hopefully I can get it, get it done here with this bat. I think it's going to do great. They've been hitting top water a lot recently on this lake. So I have some high hopes for the day. You guys just stay tuned and let's get to fishing. <laughs> You ever had those days where it's like three mile per hour winds but it's rough for some reason? That's today. But I'm still gonna whip around the bat for a little bit. Hopefully it causes enough destruction on the water to be able to get some bites. But if this doesn't get some bites, I'll call it quits on the bat challenge today. Try it again on a calmer day and throw around the chatterbait. But this has got some nice action to it. I like that nice walking action. Oh my gosh, I already got hit. Well, maybe this will be a little bit better than I have thought. Oh my gosh, yeah, hooked up, hooked up on the bat. No way, that took, qu oh my goodness gracious. How did I just do that? I caught a rock bass on the bat. Look at the size of that rock bass. Oh my goodness gracious. He just came unhooked. <laughs> well, I already completed the challenge, but we gotta get a largey to the, we gotta get the largey on the table here. Look at that, I can't believe it. That guy absolutely crushed it. Just a little rock bass. It's a good way to start the day. We got the skunk out of the boat. We caught one on the bat. Now let's just get a little bit of a bigger one. Thanks bud, see you later. Oh my gosh, yes sir. Oh yeah, it's a largey. That's a bigger one, dude. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a big one. <laughs> okay, I guess the bat's doing some dirty work today. <laughs> this thing's crushing him, what the heck? That's a big one too, dude. He's barely hooked though, come on. Come here, I need to grab him. He's barely hooked. Come here, got him. Oh, yes sir. Look at the size of that one on the bat, no way. Okay guys, we did it. On the bat, we got a largey and a rock bass within the first like 10 minutes. So it's an absolute crazy day already. The bat lure is doing some dirty work. Hopefully you can catch some more and just keep the day rolling. Thanks bud for biting. And see you later. Let's go. This bat lure is, is something else, dude. What the heck? Uh, this bait already broke. Oh my gosh, I got one. No way, what the heck? Jeez, not a bad one again. What the heck? He's barely hooked again. Hopefully I can land him though. Come here, come here mates. Oh my gosh, don't come off. Dude, the hook's like in the worst spot ever because I'm about to get hooked and I really don't want to. You're gonna have to come to Yep, just told you I was gonna get hooked. But at least it wasn't in my hand, it was in my sweatshirt. <laughs> oh, I'm connected to this fish now. Dude, you're gonna have to calm down for me because we both don't wanna get hurt here. All right, got the bass unhooked, but I'm still hooked, but that's okay. What another beautiful bass this morning. Oh my gosh, they're crushing this bat lure and they're actually not bad ones either. What a crazy morning so far. I cannot believe what's going on, but it is a great day. It is a great day for sure. Well, thanks bud. See you later. I'm gonna have to get unhooked now. Oh yeah, there it is, crushed it, he crushed it. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness gracious. Jeez. Uh, that's another, that's a tiny largey, little guy. Thought I was a rock bass at first. Come here, mate. Ooh, little guy with attitude. That's what I like to see. 
Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this, guys. <laughs> I've already got three bass here. Well, four if you count the rock bass. And it's only 628. I've literally been out here for like a half an hour and I already have three fish. What a crazy day. The bat lure is putting in some good work for sure. Well, thanks, bud. I'll see you later. So I figured out what was wrong with the bait. All I had to do was bend the wings back up here so they're more like straight up. That's how they're supposed to be. And then the bait walks fine. So you just gotta bend those in every once in a while and you should be good to go. But over time, I assume that by bending them back and forth, it'll probably end up snapping off. So I haven't got a bite in the top water in about an hour. So I'm gonna switch up here to the chatter bait, roll this around for a little bit and see if they're more on that uh, submerged bait type deal right now. Oh my gosh, right in front of me. Oh goodness gracious, he choked the bat. Cheese and rice, it's been so long since I got a bite. Oh, he's like, he's got one hook in him. He's got one hook in him. Get out of them weeds, come on, stay pinned. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, oh my. Come on, mate, come here. Oh yes. <laughs> Finally, we got another bite on the bat. Oh my. Like I said, it's been like an hour and a half since my last bite, but this guy came up and absolutely crushed it. It's actually not a bad one either. They're all been like a pound and a half, two pounds for sure. Let me get a weight on them. I'm just kind of curious if this one's like two pounds or not. Yep, there you have it folks. Two pounds, three ounces. So nice two pounder. Two pounder, not definitely not a bad fish at all. We'll take this any day of the week. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a bigger one because that would be sweet. Thank you so much, bud. And off you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he crushed it. Oh my goodness, ooh, he came off. Rip. I was bound to lose one here eventually. But that looked like a decent one and it felt like a decent one as well. Probably another two pounder. That's unfortunate. Let's get back out there and try to catch another one. Guys, I just saw the biggest carp I think I've ever seen. Oh yeah, it was at least like 30 pounds. This thing was just massive. I really wanna catch one of these carp in this lake cause they are just, they're insanely big and I have no idea why but I have no idea how to catch them. So if you guys know how to catch some carp, let me know in the comments down below. And if you wanna see me attempt to catch one of these carp, drop a comment down below and I could definitely make it happen for you guys. I don't know if I could actually catch one, but I could definitely try. Oh yes, he crushed it. My drag was loose there, but oh yes. That's a big one, dude. That's a tank. That's a tank. Oh my gosh, that's a big one, dude. Come here. Let's go. <laughs> dude, he's pulling hard. Come here. Dude, that's a freaking tank. Oh my goodness gracious. Dude, calm down. Oh my gosh, he's not done yet. Dude, oh my goodness great. Dude, you see this guy? <laughs> he's pulling so hard. Come here. Open wide. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's easily three pounds, guys. Look at the size of that bass. Oh, yes. Oh, and on the bat, too. It doesn't get much better than that. Three pounds, seven ounces right there. Oh, my goodness gracious. That is a nice fish for sure. A nice three and a half pounder on this bat lure. That is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. This is such a beautiful looking fish. Nice, chunky bass. Let's go. All right, thank you so much for biting. I'm gonna stop handling you and let you go. Thank you so much for crushing the bats. There's a fish, oh my gosh, what the heck? He's coming right at me. Oh, there he is, yep. That was so weird. <laughs> I was picking out a bird's nest and that little guy came and ate it, which then I lost him. But that's okay. He was just a little guy anyways.
Oh my gosh, do I have one? I do. What the heck? <laughs> Cheese and rice. Uh, that was so unexpected. What the heck? <laughs> what just happened? The dude jumped in the yak and fly. I don't even. <laughs> it's a big old smallmouth for sure. Smallmouth love to jump in this lake. Like, I don't know why. Jeez, he's airborne, dude. Come here, mate. Oh my gosh, he's a fighter. Oh my goodness gracious. He's not even that big, but he's a fighter. <laughs> you see, he jumped like literally three feet in the air and landed in my kayak and then flopped back out. Oh my gosh. Nice little punch to him though. What a beautiful small jaw. I don't even know what just happened. That was hilarious. <laughs> But I switched up to the good old Texas rig, as you can see now, and I got those two bites like in five minutes. So maybe it's time to put away the top water as the sun, you can tell, is getting pretty high, heating up the water. They go out to the deep water because it's nice and cool, and that's where I'm connecting on them right now. Thank you so much, bud, for biting and giving me a little show, making me, giving me a little laugh here. Well, see you later. <sighs> Flying smallmouth, beware. Cheese and rice. The carp or something just freaking almost flipped my kayak. Just kidding, it didn't almost flip my kayak, but it surfaced right underneath me. Knew it, perfect spot for top water, I knew it. And he came and smoked it, oh yes. So I was kayaking uh, back to another spot and I saw these like super high weeds and I decided to throw some top water here because it just looks like so perfect for top water. And oh boy, it was. This guy came up and smoked it. Just a wee little guy. But any bite on top water is just the coolest thing ever. Dude, you're gonna have to calm down for me. Well, this little guy had an appetite for sure. He came up and crushed that bat. Oh my gosh. Just a little tip here. When you're like trying to move spots, always be aware of just what your surroundings are. And if you find a decent spot that looks pretty good, you might as well try it, you know? Oh, thanks for biting, bud. And off you go, little guy. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm in top water again. No way. Oh, he came off. Rip. Well, I'm going to say this bat lure challenge was definitely a success. This has went a lot better than all my other top water lure challenges. Usually, like the duck lure, I struggled so hard to hook up on this. But the two hooks on this bait were like super sharp and in a great position. So I actually hooked up on almost all of my fish on that bat lure. So the bat lure actually might be one of my favorite top water lures, honestly. Like, it's a lot of fun to use, has great action. So I'm definitely gonna be throwing that bait again, not on a challenge video, because we already completed the challenge. It's not even a challenge anymore. It's just, I'm gonna throw that on the regular, just because it's a good bait. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you're looking for a unique top water bait to get, go get the bat lure. It's a great bait. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, stay tuned until next time. All best bros. Keep on.